change through education and political activism is, is still alive and well, and an individual vote surely does count nowadays in America, as we've all uh, you know, come to realize <laughs> since the presidential election. And, uh, but all that's very exciting and, and all that's very, uh, in, it, it really gets the juices flowing, but at the end of it, uh, it comes back down that uh, I lost both of those and now I'm back as a citizen Galbraith. So what I seek to do now is to present myself as a citizen and as a as a, someone who's experienced in certain matters and I'm going to try to educate the public and educate the legislature and educate the elected officials who do occupy those offices in those issues which are important to me and which I sought within which I sought to bring about change if I had been elected. The people cannot understand. Patrick, people can't understand this, the, the sense of this, just, just how deep a subject it is unless they get some historical overview. So let, let me say this. Uh, since time immemorial, uh, the farmers, the people who owned land, the agrarian society produced the four basic commodities of civilization, fiber, fuel, medicine, and food. Uh, before, before we domesticated crops, we were hunters and gatherers and, uh, you know, uh, chased animals and gathered nuts and berries. And then we started domesticating crops as a human species, which, of course, as you know, is the basis of civilization. You had to stay in one place to till the crops, so you started villages, you, uh, uh, you know, you walled the villages. Uh, the farmers produced the basic commodities of life, fiber, fuel, medicine, and food. They were all produced in the natural cycle. When land is the means of producing that wealth, even sharecroppers and, and, and people who own the business end of the whole have a have a, uh, a role in, uh, in the village and in, in the society and an honorable role there. But the people who produce that, it, the, the crops flow up through the, uh, through the villages, into the towns, into the major cities, and the money that it generates flows back down through the towns, back into the villages, back out through the land. And land is, as a wealth producing mechanism is a very uh, diffuse mechanism. I mean, everybody shares in it, okay? And it, and, uh, so let's say 125 years ago, the farmer produced all the fiber, all the fuel, all the medicine, and all the food. 